Welcome to CellPip Tutorials. This video is about the CellPip exam. CellPip stands for Canadian English Language Proficiency Index Program. CellPip exam has two versions, one is CellPip General Test, which is for those seeking permanent residency, and second exam CellPip General LS Test, is for Citizenship of Canada. Now let's talk about CELPIP general exam first. Here is a structure of the exam. This test is having four sections. Listening section. Reading section. Writing section. Speaking section. These sections are designed to test candidates' abilities to understand and use English as a communication language. Now let's look into each section one by one. First one is a listening section, the listening test is about 50 minutes. This section is having one practice task, followed by six different parts. Part 1, listening to problem solving. Part 2, listening to daily life conversation. Part 3, listening for information. Part 4, listening to a news item. Part 5, listening to a discussion. Part 6, listening to viewpoints. Listening to problem solving is having a conversation between two or more people. Most of the time, you will hear a conversation, wherein one person will ask for directions and other tries to solve his or her problem by helping them reach the place they ask for. Part 2 Daily life conversation, in this part again you will hear a conversation, where two or more people discuss day to day issues, and examiner asks you questions related to this conversation. Part 3, this part consists of a piece of information on any random subject, and you are asked related questions. Part 4, just like part 3, in this section. You will hear audio with some news and you will answer a question based on the news. Part 5, this is a video section, where you will watch a video with a group of people discussing some issue. Part 6, listening to viewpoints will play audio for you on different viewpoints about random subjects or news. Cell Pip General Reading Section The reading test is about 50 minutes. There are four parts in the reading test. Part 1, reading correspondence. Part 2, reading to apply a diagram. Part 3, reading for information. Part 4, reading for viewpoints and one practice task. Reading correspondence will have some form of correspondence like mail or email to read from. The passage is on the left hand side of the screen and answers on the right hand side of the screen. Part 2, Reading to Apply a Diagram is a section of pros and cons, where you will be given three or four options with images and data to decide the right answers for the questions. Part 3 and Part 4 of the reading section are similar to the parts in listening section, except one difference, that, Instead of listening to audio, you will be reading information or viewpoints provided in the form of text. Cell PIP General Writing Section There are two tasks in the writing section. The first task is 27 minutes and the second task is 26 minutes. Task 1 is writing an email, here you will be provided with instruction to add points to your email, which should be around 150 to 200 words. Task 2 is responding to survey questions. In this part, survey question will be asked and you will be given two options to choose from, and write on the one you select. Cell PIP General Speaking Test the speaking task is 20 minutes and there are 8 tasks in the speaking test and 1 practice task. Speaking task 1, giving advice. In this task, you will give advice to your friend or family member. Speaking task 2, talking about a personal experience. In this task, 
you will speak about your own experience like your school or college time experiences etc. Speaking Task 3, Describing a Scene Now in this task you will be given one picture and you will speak about the picture in a way that you explain everything to someone who cannot see that picture. Speaking Task 4, Making Predictions you will see a picture again in this section but instead of explaining that picture, you will speak about what probably can happen next, as per the given circumstances in that picture. Speaking Task 5, Comparing and Persuading, this section will show you two pics to compare. Speaking Task 6, Dealing with a difficult situation, you will be given a situation to deal with. You will take your decision and speak to either party involved in the situation. Speaking Task 7, Expressing Opinions In this section, you speak out your opinion on the given issue. You may be asked some question and you will give an answer as per your opinion. Speaking Task 8, Describing an Unusual Situation this task will give you a photo of some product, and you will speak to your known person or family member, as if you are calling them on phone, explaining about that product by looking at the picture provided to you. So these were the four sections of the CELPIP general exam. CELPIP general LS exam will have only two sections. One is listening and the second one is speaking. Both the sections are having the same structure as that of general exam. In the end, I will like to thank you for spending time with us, and assure you that we will keep on uploading new informative videos on CELPIP test, especially for you. Thanks once again.